Have you ever felt like you're drowning in information with ideas, tasks, and to-dos pulling you in every direction? What if I told you there's a way to turn your chaos into productivity? In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But what if I told you that this overwhelm really isn't your fault? The real issue is that you don't have a system in place to manage the flood of information and tasks that are coming at you every day. Without a reliable way to capture and organize everything, you're gonna be left feeling scattered, stressed, and stuck in a cycle of inefficiency. And that's where this video comes into play. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of building a second brain, which is a revolutionary method that's gonna transform the way that you manage information. It's gonna boost your productivity, and it's really just gonna bring order into your life. So let's start it off with what is a second brain. Tiago Forte describes it as a system for capturing, organizing, and using knowledge to enhance your productivity and your creativity. So this system is kind of similar to a modern day commonplace notebook that was popularized way back in the Renaissance period, just as a commonplace notebook um, collected wisdom and ideas for easy access. The second brain gives you a system to find what you need and when you need it, especially helping you to stay focused and to stay productive. So meet Sarah and Emily. Sarah Sarah is a busy marketing manager who dreams of getting promoted, but her days are a blur of missed emails, forgotten tasks, and a desk overflowing with sticky notes. She spends her hours trying to piece together her scattered thoughts, only to end each day feeling exhausted and unaccomplished. So on the other hand, there's Emily. Ooh, Emily is that girl. She's also a marketing manager with similar ambition, but she uses the second brain system. Her projects, ideas, and notes are all meticulously organized in one place. She starts her day with a clear plan. She easily accesses her resources. Emily ends her day knowing she's not only completed her tasks, but she's also moved closer to her long-term goals. While Sarah struggles in a sea of disarray, Emily thrives. So do you see the difference of what it's like to actually have everything organized and have a system that supports you to do that. I like to use the analogy of trying to create in a messy room versus a tidy space. So if you imagine an artist who wants to create it, they walk into a messy studio with stuff all over the place and their paints all over the place and they can't even walk to their canvas. It's not going to be so inspiring to create. Whereas if that artist walked into an organized space with a blank canvas and a room that, you know, had the environment to support her creative flow, she's going to create something magical. And this is what a second brain can do for you. And and more specifically, what's important to know about the second brain system is you're not going to be organizing by subject, like a library, for instance, you're going to be organizing by use and actionability like a kitchen. So in a library, books are neatly categorized by subject, but in a kitchen, everything is organized by how you're going to use it. Spices are near the stove, utensils are within reach, ingredients are ready for cooking. It's very nice, it's very demure, right? <laughs> Just like a well-organized kitchen, kitchen it makes you feel meal prep efficient and ready to cook. The second brain system keeps your tasks, projects, and ideas easily accessible and helping you to take action quickly and effectively. Tiago Forte details the second brain using a system called code. And the first C is capture. The first step in building your second brain is to capture everything that resonates with you. This includes ideas, insights, quotes, and tasks. So think about it like your thoughts are like sticky notes randomly plastered on a wall. Some are gonna fall off, others are gonna get lost in the shuffle. The capture step is like gathering all those notes into a notebook and keeping them organized within reach so you never have to lose track of any single idea. The capture step in building a second brain system is all about relieving the mental burden of trying to remember everything. So think about how often you come across ideas, tasks, or insights that seem important, but you're too busy to deal with them in the moment. You might be working on something else. Without a reliable way to capture these thoughts, they linger in the back of your mind and they create this kind of stress and mental clutteredness, if that's a word. <laughs> so then by capturing everything, whether it's a note from a meeting or an idea from a future project or even a random thought, you're freeing your mind from that constant effort of trying to remember, which is really a mental load. This simple habit of capturing everything as it comes not only reduces that mental clutter, but it also ensures that nothing valuable slips through cracks. It's like having a safety net for your thoughts and allows you to stay focused on the task at hand. So I have my physical inboxes, include my mailbox that we have in our living room, my to be filed or processing inbox that's actually at my desk and I have a work notebook that I capture any fleeting ideas as my inbox for like my nine to five as a neuropsychologist. And then for my digital inboxes, I use my task and notes within my notion second brain to capture everything. So this makes it easy for me to have a centralized place to capture everything that's really, really important to me. And it takes, it took me from using all these different systems to having one centralized place. And now my life, I can't even tell you the stress has taken off me, especially as being a multi-passionate mompreneur just having a central hub for everything has been so helpful. So within that 
to capture my arising to-dos, I usually use the quick capture on my Notion dashboard, my second brain dashboard. I can use that on my phone, my iPad, or my laptop to quickly capture things, as well as uh, my notes hub on my um, Notion dashboard to quickly capture things as well, and then I process it in my weekly review. By the way, if you're new here, I am Dr. Tiffany Shelton Merrill. I'm a neuropsychologist and published author. I make videos on how to intentionally get more done so that you can enjoy your dream life. That's why we're doing all this, so be sure to subscribe and join the family. Moving on, the next step is the O, which stands for organize. So now that you've captured everything, it's time to start organizing it, and you're gonna do that using the para method. Once you've captured all your thoughts, your ideas, and your tasks, the next crucial step is to start organizing them in a way that makes it easily accessible when you need them to take action. Purpose of organizing is to prevent that overwhelming feeling of searching for that one important note or that task among like a chaotic, really mess, or that just feeling of like, I know I wrote this down, but where do I put it? You no longer have to do that. So by organizing your captured information, you're creating a streamlined system where everything has a place and nothing ever gets lost or forgot. So you can think of this in an analogy like, okay, after you're going grocery shopping, which you can think of as capturing a different, a lot of different items, you're going to or organize these ingredients into your pantry. So that's the O. Each item has a specific spot, spices, canned food, snacks, and it's going to make it easier for you when you need to start cooking. Does that make sense? So let me explain this para method in the second brain. Projects for the P. These are these short-term efforts with a specific goal, like completing a work project or planning a trip. Then you have areas. These are ongoing responsibilities and interests, such as health, finances, and relationships. Then you have resources. These are topics of ongoing interest or reference materials, like recipes or articles or course notes even. Then you have your archive, and this is where you store completed projects and inactive items for the future. And if you notice, this goes by actionability, the PARA method. So the P-A-R-A -A is like an actionability spectrum. So this whole system continues to being about actionability and productivity. Projects are the most actionable, then you have your life areas or areas of improvement, then you have your resources, and then least actionable obviously is the archive. And then step three is to distill. After organizing your information, you're gonna distill it into actionable insights. So this means you're basically gonna be summarizing those notes. You just don't wanna throw anything into your second brain. You wanna highlight key points and extract the most important information. So for example, if you capture notes from a meeting, you wanna distill them into key action items and decisions instead of just putting all your notes in there. You can really think of it kind of like water going through a coffee filter. Distilling is about condensing your organized information into its most essential points and then extracting those key takeaways and removing that unnecessary clutter. Then we can move on to the E, which is express. Expressing is where you take this distilled insights and you turn them into actionable outputs, whether that's a presentation, a work project plan, or a creative piece of art. This step is about sharing or implementing that knowledge or those things that you've gathered in a refined way and making sure that it just doesn't sit unused in your second brain. So after gathering and preparing all your ingredients, right? Organizing and distilling them. Expressing is like cooking the meal and then serving it. You're turning those raw materials into something delicious and valuable to share. If you're interested in using my second brain notion system, don't forget there is a template linked in the description below. Okay, so this code framework can be life-changing if you know how to implement this system into your everyday life, which is why I teed up a video I did on my entire life organization for you to watch next that gives you really the exact details of how I implement this system in my life. Cheers to planning, manifesting, and enjoying your dream life. Namaste.